Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are continuing the series sponsored by Mobile One where they have provided me with access to their engineering teams to answer the many questions that surround motor oil. In this video we're tackling a heavily debated subject, whether or not you can use synthetic oils in old cars. So we're going to be answering the following questions. Can you use synthetic oils in old cars? Can synthetic oils cause leaks in old cars? If your car is consuming a lot of oil, should you use a thicker oil? And when should you consider using a high mileage oil? Lots to work through, so first off let's start with the basics. Can you use synthetic oils in older cars and older engines? The simple answer is yes, absolutely, there's no issue using synthetic oils in older cars. And we'll get into where the idea that you couldn't originated, but whether your car is 30 years old or a classic, there is often a synthetic product available for it. I think the easiest way of knowing this is simply looking at manufacturer recommendations. Porsche has factory filled with Mobile One Synthetic 0W40 since 1996. But if you go back further to Porsche Classic cars, you start to get cars with larger engine clearances that require thicker oils. Porsche approves a Mobile One Synthetic 5W50 and 15W50 in their Classic cars requiring a 50 weight oil. And synthetic oils are nothing new. They've been around for commercial use in the automotive industry since the 1970s. So in my opinion, the more interesting part of this discussion is where the idea came from that you can't use synthetics in older cars. Ultimately, it comes from bad experiences in the past. Some of the early synthetic motor oils were ester-based, and actually some engine seals are ester-based, and there's a compatibility there. Esters can cause swelling of engine seals, and a little bit can actually be a good thing. But if the ester concentration of the oil is too high, you could see excessive swelling of the seals, a drop in the seal's hardness, or a loss of tensile strength. Okay, so think about what you want to happen inside of the engine. You want the seal to maintain its properties regardless of what the engine is doing. Hot, cold, say you drop a seal into hot engine oil. You don't want the seal to get brittle or lose strength. And with some early synthetic motor oils, likely with base stock formulations that are no longer used today, that's what happened. The oil wasn't super compatible with the engine seals, so you found oil leaking all over your driveway. So how do we know modern synthetic oils won't damage engine seals? Well, there's all kinds of testing to ensure that doesn't happen, which is why it's no longer a problem. For example, Mobile One Synthetic was commercially introduced to the United States in 1974. Obviously at the time, there were far fewer industry requirements. Today, if you look at the back of a bottle of oil, you'll see an API certification, an ILSAC certification, and various manufacturer certifications like GM's Dexos. These certifications have extensive testing and they'll include seal compatibility tests to ensure that what's inside the bottle is actually compatible with the seals used in engines. All of this is to say that if an oil has the proper certifications, you don't have to worry about seal compatibility with your engine and running a synthetic is no problem. Okay, so what about this idea that's often perpetuated that synthetic oils have more cleaning power and will remove built up sludge and gunk within your engine, exposing leaks and causing your engine to now leak oil. Now, this is the absolute wrong approach towards the longevity of an engine. So it's true that synthetics can have higher concentrations of dispersants and detergents and other cleaning elements, but cleaning your engine is never a bad thing. Keeping an engine clean is never a bad thing. Certainly, if you have sludge or gunk building up, this is bad for your engine. That sludge can plug up oil drain holes, which lead to more sludge forming on the top end of your engine, which then gets too hot and eventually fails. If your engine has a leak, that's obviously a problem, and there's probably a failed seal. However, sludge and gunk building up around that seal is not a solution, it's just another problem. Using sludge as the solution would mean causing your engine to fail sooner so that it doesn't leak oil. That's obviously a bit backwards. Okay, now what about old engines that are burning or consuming a lot of oil? In this case, should you consider using a thicker oil? And actually, it might not be a bad idea. As a general rule, you should always use the viscosity your car manufacturer recommends. But as we all know, engines don't last forever. Wear happens, and as you have wear occurring, this can change the clearances within an engine. 
For example, let's say you have an old car and there's quite a lot of miles on it, and while you're sitting at idle, when you have a relatively low oil pressure, the oil pressure light comes on or maybe flickers. Well, in this case, the oil may have originally been fine for maintaining oil pressure, but as the clearances within the engine increased, now there's more space, and the oil might be too thin to maintain pressure in the wider areas, so using a thicker oil could prolong the life of the engine. I think the important thing here is understanding that you shouldn't proactively switch to a thicker grade oil without any signs that your engine is old or worn. Bumping up an oil grade should be thought of as a last ditch effort of prolonging the life of an engine that's clearly on its way out. The thicker oil could help, but it's not going to change the fact that your engine has significant wear. Higher viscosity oils also tend to have a lower volatility, which means less of the oil burns off over time. Now, as far as an engine that's leaking oil, so you have spots on your driveway, well, changing to a thicker oil isn't addressing the problem, that seals have failed, and it likely won't help. If there's a passageway or seal that oil is leaking through, the difference in viscosity between, say, a 5W20 and a 5W30 at operating temperature is too small to actually make a difference in whether or not oil can slip by. The leak is going to continue to leak. Again, the problem here is a failed seal. Not that your oil is the wrong viscosity. And this discussion on leaks leads to our final question. When should you consider using a high mileage oil? So high mileage oils seek to be a solution for engines that have started to wear and might be burning excessive oil or leaking oil. There are a couple of differences versus a standard synthetic oil. High mileage oils have a seal swelling agent which serves the purpose of reconditioning engine seals. So if you think about a seal, over time the seal can harden, shrink, and lose its elasticity. The swelling agent is designed to recondition that seal so that less oil makes its way past. Now, this doesn't mean the seal is permanently fixed, right? If your engine's issue is a broken seal, well then the ultimate fix is replacing that seal. But a high mileage oil can help prolong the seal's useful life if it has started to deteriorate. It can be useful to try and swell an old seal back to its original state, but obviously you wouldn't want to proactively try to swell a brand new seal. That said, if for some reason you were to start using a high mileage oil early, it's not going to harm your engine as long as you can see it meets all of the required industry tests. A common spot where a failed seal can cause you to burn a lot of engine oil are the valve stem seals. So these seals prevent oil from within the cylinder head from entering your intake manifold. If the seal deteriorates or fails, oil will drip down onto the intake valves and move into the combustion chamber along with the intake air and burn up in the engine. Or if the oil leaks down the exhaust valves, the oil will exit with the flow of exhaust gases. Another difference of high mileage oils is they may use a base oil with a heavier mixture. This slightly higher viscosity means the oil has less volatility and less of it turns into a gas burning within your engine. Again, it's important to understand why your engine is burning more oil than usual. For example, it could be from oil leaking down the valve guides. It could be that the surface between the piston rings and the cylinder liner is too smooth, and the cross hatching is worn down and no longer holds oil. It could be from oil mist in the crankcase, specifically the more volatile compounds which end up burning off through the crankcase ventilation system. Quite simply, old engines will start to experience problems. A high mileage engine oil isn't going to reverse engine wear, but it can help recondition engine seals and help cut down on oil consumption. So to summarize, yes, you can use synthetic oils in old engines, and it's not going to cause a leak like some of the early synthetic products on the market. Yes, bumping up a viscosity grade could help a worn engine restore oil pressure. And yes, switching to a high mileage oil can help reduce oil consumption in an aging engine. Now, as a quick little bonus fact, it's often stated that rotary engines cannot use synthetic oil because they'll create carbon deposits. I asked Mobile One about this, and they suggested the original logic behind this is likely linked to a bad experience when synthetics were first introduced. Rotary engines spray oil directly into the combustion chamber to lubricate the apex seals, and this oil is eventually burned off. But whether it's a synthetic or a conventional oil, 
you're spraying oil, which is made up of hydrocarbons, chains of hydrogen and carbon atoms, directly into the combustion chamber. Either way, you're going to be burning this oil. So if a synthetic were to cause carbon buildup, well, a conventional oil would as well. Synthetics offer a lot of advantages, however, which is why you'll see them used in motorsport applications that are still using rotary engines, sometimes even removing the oil metering and instead pre-mixing specific oils with the fuel. So a big thank you to Mobile One for sponsoring this video and providing access to their engineering teams. Mobile One Synthetic can be found at a wide variety of retailers and service stations near you. If you have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave them below. Thank you all so much for watching.